We're kind of stuck in between seasons. Yes, the calendar says fall. No, the temperatures don't feel like it. And another thing that's more like summer is the fact that we've got another air quality alert for tomorrow. It's an ozone action day, our 12th of the season. Air quality expected to be in the unhealthy for sensitive group zone, but improved by Friday and Saturday back into the moderate zone, which is where we were today. Another thing that's very fall like is the allergy situation. Fall elm has been high. It was moderate today, but ragweed in the high range for the first time so far this season. If those aren't bothering you, it's probably the mold left over from Sunday's rain. We've still got a high mold count currently outside 83 degrees. Our high made it to 96. That is seven degrees above average, but not a record for this time of year. Tomorrow, I think we could hit 97 with lots of sunshine. The record is 106. It will be safe at the surface. We've got high pressure and control. There was a weak disturbance out to our west that actually brought some hill country communities some decent rain portions of Mason and Gillespie counties, but no rain anymore. It's long gone. Overnight lows, temperatures dropping into the upper 60s to low 70s across the board. Lots of sunshine for tomorrow. Quickly warming up to around 89 by lunchtime. There's that high temperature of 97 degrees. That's here in Austin, right around 97 in Bastrop, 95 out in Burnett. And you can tack on a couple more degrees because of the humidity for how it will feel. So first thing in the morning, southwest winds, lots of sunshine, keeping the sunshine in place through midday and in the afternoon. Unlike today, Day. We're not even going to see any spotty showers develop and a dry forecast is with us all the way through the next week. As for temperatures, they're going to stay pretty close to where they were today for another week as well. You might be wondering, OK, when's the pattern change coming? Is there going to be any hope for fall football weather? No, not this weekend anyway. Tailgating at 90 degrees on Saturday, right around 96 by halftime for the Longhorns game. Saturday kickoff is at 2.30. I will tell you, computer models are suggesting a pattern change just outside of this seven day, maybe around the 6th or 7th of October. We might get a cold front. We'll be right back.